<laughs> but this year, I am going to go to Togo because <laughs> yeah. they've been asking. It's it's a French-speaking nation, mm -hmm. and so we'll have to polish off our high school French. Well, <laughs> Liberia, Nigeria. Uh, I had a vision a few years ago where I saw the whole continent of Africa on fire, uh -huh. literally on fire in the spirit. For the Lord Jesus Christ, Hallelujah. and we have we have a supernatural love for the the whole continent of Africa and the African people, and not to say we don't we love the we love to go into the Philippines and we love seeing our brothers and sisters on fire for the Lord. Um, this this is a prophetic time as well. This is the Hebrew year five seven seven zero. Yes, <laughs> and um, it it you know the meaning or significance of the numbers in their language is it's the year to enter the promised land mm -hmm. and this is the time for the saints to arise and and be the church be the body of christ yes. his the extension of his hands and his, his heart his love um so so god really really is um you know <laughs> escalating things accelerating things in our lives it just seems you know there's there's just things every day going on you know plus plus we both have full-time jobs <laughs> i'm a chaplain at the state hospital and, and danny is a psychotherapist but there's opportunities every day in our, our day jobs <laughs> Amen. god wants to raise up marketplace ministers who will be going everywhere to to spread this wonderful news and and this outpouring of the Holy Spirit. I mean, it's easy. People's hearts are open. I mean, every day we pass by people that are, are hurting and or sick and <laughs> that are, are lonely and and they just need to know. Hey, God thinks you're amazing. He created you because He wanted to love you for eternity. And and you know, yeah. I I remember Reinhardt's vision of of thousands of people. You know, a crowd of people just walking off. You know, dropping off a cliff into a, a godless eternity and he was horrified and Jesus appeared to him and Jesus just looked at him with a smile on his face and and Rodney said my goodness Lord what you know why don't you do something and Jesus said I did I did my part now it's up to you and it is up to each one of us to to wake up and start taking this thing seriously God loves us and he wants to use us to be his conduit of love to everybody in our atmosphere around us so mm -hmm. praise God um, before we close today, we do want to pray for everybody. You know, I believe the, the Lord told me as I was driving here to tape this today, there was going to be a supernatural impartation. If you need, if you need the baptism of the Holy Ghost, if you need healing, if you need deliverance today, if you need, you know, impartation yeah. of the fire, hallelujah. <laughs> this is your day. But I just wanted to mention, since we're in the Christmas uh, time season, that um, we have this book from our ministry called Vicarish All Sorts and Treasures of the Deep, which is a book the Lord uh, downloaded into me a couple of um, years ago, published by Publish America. Uh, the cost is a $20 donation to our ministry, and you, know, you can go online and order it from us. Or all the you money can, goes to missions. And all money goes to missions, or you can um, you know, contact Publish America and... Um, so anyways, that would be a great Christmas gift to give someone else the, the gift of revelation, knowledge, hallelujah. You know, the, the pastor's wife in Hastings Community Church, Diane, said, oh, I got that book and I couldn't put it down. I, I finished it and now I'm rereading it. I'm going through it again. It's just awesome. So uh, not any thanks to me. The Holy Ghost was actually the author. He was my ghost writer. <laughs> so praise the Lord. He, he's got great things for us in this hour and, and the Lord will really wants you to be a part. He wants you to come alive because you're on the Holy Ghost generation. <laughs> so, honey, I was wondering if you would pray for people watching today. Yes. If you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, it's really simple. All you have to do is repeat these words after me. The Bible says in Romans 10, 9 and 10, if you confess with your mouth Jesus Christ is Lord, and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, then you shall be saved. So, right now, wherever you're at, dear Heavenly Father, dear Heavenly Father, I believe, 
I believe that you raised Jesus Christ from the dead. That you raised Jesus Christ from the dead. He is my Lord. He is my Lord. He is my Savior. He is my Savior. I make him mine. I make him mine. Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. Forgive me for all my sins. Forgive me for all my sins. And this day. And this day. I make you. I make you. Lord and Savior. Lord and Savior. Of my life. Of my life. Yeah. Yeah. And as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I tell you, you are a brand new creation in Christ Jesus. You are now a son and daughter of God. Everything that Jesus has, you now have. Amen. Get into the Word of God. Listen, it's very important. If you, if you, listen, I'd love you guys to call me and say, listen, I accept that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. The next step is getting in a good Holy Spirit filled church to be discipled. Uh, or, or a fellowship, a casual or, fellowship, or a like fellowship. what we're doing. Just, you know, hey, come as you are, have fun, you know, ain't no party like the Holy Ghost party. Just enjoy the presence of the Lord. Get to know Him and, and the people of God better. There's one more step, the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And I'm going to ask Linda, lead him in the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Okay, uh, now this is something that Jesus said you should have. He says you should be clothed with power from on high. And so this is very simple. You said how you do it is you ask, <laughs> and then you believe that you receive, and then you release a new language from your innermost being, a language that your head won't understand. In fact, sometimes our heads want to argue with us. But anyways, just repeat after me, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. I want to have, I want to have everything you've got for me. Everything you've got for so me. So I'm asking right now, Lord. I'm asking right now, Lord. Fill me with your precious spirit. Fill me with your precious from spirit. From the top of my head. From the top of my head. To the soles of my feet. To the soles of my feet. And I believe I receive him. And I believe I receive him. And I thank you, Lord. And I thank you, he'll Lord. He'll give me a brand new language. That you give me a brand new a language. language of love. <laughs> a language of a love. A hotline to heaven. A hotline to heaven. <laughs> In it Jesus is. Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Um, I don't know how much time we got, but I would like to... we got to wrap it up. Uh, you want to just pray, quick prayer, healing, deliverance? If, everybody, if anybody needs a healing out there right now in the name of Jesus, I speak healing, I speak wholeness to your body from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. Receive it now in Jesus' name. God bless. God bless you.